Today's episode is all about solar energy or photovoltaic to be more specific or PV for short. Solar energy has been growing in popularity among homeowners and businesses alike. However, with all technology, there is advantages and disadvantages. And today I will be sharing the pros and cons for homeowners. Now I'm gonna start with the pros. And number one is obvious, solar energy is clean and renewable. Now what I mean by that is that it does not produce greenhouse gases or other pollutants while the energy is being produced. However, like everything else in the world, energy is required to produce that product that will, in this case, produce more energy. What I mean is that it takes energy to produce a PV panel and that energy typically comes in the form of fossil fuels. That being said, there are studies out there that show that a solar panel produced can offset its own carbon footprint within four years. And that is why I still chalk this up as a pro. Number two is that it is cost effective. Solar systems can save homeowners thousands of dollars in the long run. It does this by generating electricity and reducing the homeowner's reliance on utility companies. I won't get into the details of how much on this episode, but that will be coming up in a future episode. I do want to ask you a question though. Now, a lot of people don't want to be a landlord, but what if I said, here is a tenant, they're always gonna pay on time, they're never going to have parties, they are never going to move out, and they will continuously pay you a higher rent. Would you say yes to that tenant? Would you be a landlord in that case? In my opinion, that is essentially what a solar system does when you put it on your home. Number three is that solar panels can increase the value of your home, making it more attractive to potential buyers if you decide to sell down the road. This is something you would need to review with your real estate agent if you were looking to sell your home, but I have never heard of a solar panel system bringing down the value of a home. It has always added value, especially if it's in a neighborhood where so many of the homes are similar. Number four is tax incentives. This may not always be the case, but right now there are incredible tax incentives that are putting thousands of dollars back into homeowners' pockets. In my opinion, if the government is giving you money to install solar panels on your home, it makes sense to look into it. And if you're in the US, I can personally run some numbers for you and show how helpful these incentives can be for your home. For this, you can contact me through theconsciousbuilder.com slash solar. Now let's get into the cons. Number one is there is a high upfront cost. The initial cost to get into solar, to put solar on your home can be beyond what a lot of homeowners can pay. Now, if you do have the funds to purchase your solar system outright, the ROI or return on investment can actually be quite good when you compare it to other investment options. For those who need some support, there are some amazing financing options, which will actually allow people to reduce their monthly cost in comparison to the utility bills and save more and more money with every year that passes with every increase in electricity costs. The second drawback is that solar panels obviously require sunlight in order to produce electricity. This means that they are less effective in areas that receive limited sunlight or experience frequent cloud cover or have a lot of snow. If your home is surrounded by trees, you may not be able to produce enough energy from the sun to make solar panels a worthwhile investment, but you may still be surprised on what you can produce. Ideally, you have a large part of the roof facing south, but it's not necessarily a requirement. It's just best if it's possible. Number three would be energy storage. If you're planning to go off grid, energy storage is not quite there yet. Batteries are still extremely expensive, so I recommend people stay connected to the grid if that is an option. If you happen to be in an area where you lose power a lot, a generator is still your most cost-effective option as it's not something that typically happens too often if you're okay with rolling it out or even if you want to install a permanent generator. 
Number four is aesthetics. Not everybody loves the look of solar panels. Sure, there are solar shingles now, but they come at a premium. If aesthetics is extremely important to you, solar panels may not be of interest, but on the flip side, some people do like the look of them. Personally, I like the look of solar panels and I kind of like to show them off when they're on a home. Like most decisions in life, you have to look at the pros and cons and weigh them out against each other and figure out if it's a good fit for you and your life. In this case, I hope this video has helped you figure out whether or not you want to add solar panels or not, or if maybe it's just something you want to look into to see if it makes sense on your home. And if you do want to look into it, here is some food for thought. Did you know that on average, year after year, over the last 10 years, electricity has gone up by 20% across the US? If you live in the US and you want to beat the utility company at their own game, I have partnered with Apricot Solar and Freedom Forever to save you thousands of dollars. Because of high tax incentives and solar decreasing in costs by 50% over the last 10 years, there has never been a better time to add solar to your home. If you're interested in seeing if your home qualifies, you can head to theconsciousbuilder.com slash solar. And don't worry if you don't have the money up front. As I mentioned before, there are great financing options that can get you solar for $0 up front. Once again, that's theconsciousbuilder.com slash solar. Until next time, I'm Casey Gray, and remember to live consciously.